Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS VivoBook X543B. This one is an AM, AMD A9 processor. It comes with an 8 gig RAM, one terabyte a mechanical hard drive, and obviously a processor AMD Duo with a 3.7, up to 3.7 gigahertz. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade or replace your battery for this model. So let's get it started. First thing first, you need to yourself grab opening tool. I use the iFixit tool set, they're really good and handy. We're gonna use bit number zero Phillips. And what you wanna do here, you just have to remember, and we have to remove all the screws at the bottom cover here. The back by the hinges, the screws in the corner back side are the medium size screw and they're really thick, a little bit of thicker than the rest. The two mid back are the longest screw and the rest in the front end and the mid, they are all the same size. And they are right over here, I already removed them. So the short ones, they are the mid towards the front end. Two uh, medium screws are from the corners and two long ones are from the back mid. So go ahead and remove the screws. Next, once you remove that, you wanna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. And what you wanna do here, you wanna grab yourself an opening tool. I use a guitar pick. And you wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover. So stick it right in between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Or once you have it in here, you just wanna wiggle it around, just twist it a little bit. You want to let go loose of those clips. Do the sides. And once you got the sides open, it's just going to open up. Don't yank it up because we still have to remove the flex cable for the touchpad. For removing it, you have to unhook this uh, plastic right here. Just with a fingernail, just lift up the white plastic towards the 90 degrees and the flex will slide out. Same thing for the keyboard connector. Lift up the black cover and the keyboard just gonna pop out. Next, open up the laptop and down here you got the, you got the palm rest. You can just put it to one side. And at the back you can see the battery right here. Actually they have a one empty spot to put one more battery cell here. But yeah, anyway, to remove the battery, you just have to grab yourself a screwdriver and there is no screws in here. I think they put a tape at the back of this one. So, so let go lift it up from this side. You're gonna hear those crunchy double-sided tape lifting up. Put it right in there. You just wanna lift it up. Do loosen it up a little bit from there and go ahead and lift it up. What you want to do, you want once you've got this side loosened up a little bit, just like this, a little bit, hold it as long as you can hold it. And now, what you want to do, you want to twist it, twist it towards yourself, and the pins are going to get loose. So, you cannot lift it up, you just want to get it loose. So, get this adhesive tape on the bottom loosen. So, just wiggle it around a little bit in there and then you have to twist it, it will just come out in this position. So there's a three cell battery here. These are the 1865 batteries, I believe. I'll put the link in the description. Once you get the new one in, what you wanna do, you wanna twist it around, move the flex cable for the screen to one side. You wanna put it down in this position, like you're facing down, just like that, underneath. It's like a, pretty much you're trying to scoop it in. And then you want to rotate and while you're pushing it down, scoop it in and put it right there. There is no screw holding it. The screws from the back goes through here and holds it from there. So there's only one screw pretty much holding the battery in there. And there's one empty space here to put a who knows what. If you're traveling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Empty space. So yeah, and the DVD-ROM, there's no way in the, 
they have a connector for the DVD ROM here, but good luck cutting through whole, all this plastic and cutting the case here to stick in a DVD ROM. So why would they even waste money to put a jack here if they're not gonna give you the easy access? Anyway, next, what you wanna do, you wanna again do the same thing backward, close it in 45 degree angle, open up the lid for the jack, slide down the connector, On the back side, once you slide it down from the back, hold it with one finger and with the other finger, just close up the lid. You just have to slide it in and then close the lid for the flex cable. Same thing for this one, just slide it right in there, hold it, and then close up the lock. And then put down the palm rest. Now what you wanna do, you wanna pinch all around. So you're gonna hear clicks while you're pinching. and push down on the back and that's it pretty much i hope you guys like this video if you guys liked it click that thumbs up button i really appreciate it and if you have any requests or anything you want me to answer you know where to leave them and again i really appreciate if you guys subscribe it motivates and helps me to answer your question and make more videos thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video and the last thing is to put back in the screws. There we go. And we are finished.